What's good, YouTube? I got a little message out there for the parents and the guardians that want to play parents and want to play guardians. Well, play like y'all them parents or guardians that care. And if this hurts your feelings, then so be it. Let me tell you what I'm tired of seeing. I seen this today. I seen this today. I was hot because they was innocent. Two innocent kids, a little boy and a little girl. When I say little, I mean little. If I had to size them up with two hands, feet, they was probably, uh, yeah, they was little. They was probably, they come up to my waist. And I can understand if you live in a cul-de-sac. But if you don't live in a cul-de-sac or a dead end, please explain to me why your children is trying to figure out if it's okay, when do I go, how do I start to cross the street with all these cars coming. Not just cars, big vehicles, trucks. Semis, dump trucks. A child's body cannot withstand that weight and that blow from one of the vehicles. Look at y'all news. Google back of buses and cars and trucks hitting kids and crushing legs and kids not making it. And then the parents or whoever is mad at the person driving that vehicle. And all you had to do was put that cell phone down, sitting on a cinder block, with your head down all up in that phone's business, instead of paying attention to the important business, your son and your daughter crossing the street. Apartment building right there. Okay, I'm sure they came out of there because the door is open. I seen you, dude. You wasn't even paying attention to your kids. And if you ain't the father or you ain't related, you babysitting, you fired. What's wrong with you, man? Y'all always screaming victim when the authorities come, but you were sleeping on the job. What is wrong with y'all? You high off of something? By all means, you want to get high, go ahead, but don't do it on the kid watch. If you can't handle it. Two little innocent kids looking like they just want to enjoy the day and then you come and sit on a cinder block and then just, you sit on a cinder block and not even pay attention to them and talk on your cell phone. You all up in your cell phone. That can wait. Get him across the street where you at. Then get on your phone. Make him stand by you. No, but they playing chicken trying to figure out when is it okay to go. When is it okay to go? I'm driving through there in a big vehicle. I can't even tell the kids, go ahead, cross the street. Because if I see something ain't coming and I make them cross, and then somebody come flying around the corner... It's 60 mile an hour. That's my fault. So I couldn't even protect him. I couldn't even say, yo, stay there, y'all. Stay there. I was two cars back. I couldn't even say, stay there, don't move. Because then I could have scared him and then they would have ran across the street. Then I'm involved. But it's your responsibility. Put the phone down. The phone can wait, homie. I don't know if you was a parent. Guardian or babysitter, but you was guarding them kid. You was supposed to be, but you wasn't. Well, I was looking. You just didn't. You should have been holding a hand. Let's just say they just happened to come outside and noticed you was over there. We can look at it that way. Still, they talking to you. You see them. Get off the phone. Something wrong with y'all, man. Then y'all say, don't nobody care about you. 
You don't care about yourself or them kids. Fall back with that plan victim. Tired of y'all playing victim. They don't like us. They don't. They ain't really care. Man, shut up. Help them kids cross the street or go over there where they was at, sitting on the block with your dome all up in that cell phone. Care what you was getting a text about. The kid's life is more important than what's in that phone. Because when they gone, y'all pointing the fingers and they was beating. They didn't see the kids. No, you didn't see him either. He was too busy with your head down. But then the driver go to jail because he hit a kid that ran out. It happens, y'all. A kid run out. Driver following the traffic laws. He fought, man, he following the rules. And just so happened, this kid just said, oh. And kids got energy and dart out. Boom, he hit him. Driver going to jail. You getting a check. Man, y'all better chill with that. Watch your kids, man. Parents, and if these people out here babysitting y'all kids and they doing this, get a new babysitter. Or get you a home job. You heard me. Or get you a home job. You ain't got to worry about your kids out there in somebody else's care because they don't know what they doing. But I'm pretty sure that was that was family. It just didn't, didn't, it didn't even register that they was crossing the street. They was loud. You heard them talking and giggling and, you know, just up, back up, got to back up. Oh, oh, not yet, not yet. Oh, okay, let's go. Boom, they hit. And look at you. You're going to sue somebody's company because they hit your kid. I don't know, y'all. Tell me what y'all think about that. That was from the heart.